for the National Organization of Spanish Blind Persons. Today we are celebrating and also giving thanks. And on this we'd like to focus in our short statement. We welcome the fact that what seemed to be impossible, what seemed to be an unnatural request in the environment of the World Intellectual Property Organization, has taken the form of an international treaty that was not only signed three years ago, but has come into force five days ago. While those countries belonging to the European Union will have to wait for a few months more in order to be able to fully enjoy the benefits of this treaty, this is um, a wait that has nothing to do with the uncertainty of whether we were going to achieve our objective or not. The objective, the principle of it all, has been achieved thanks to WIPO and the, mem and the states' parties that made possible the final agreement in Marrakesh and the various civil society bodies with whom we've been seated at the back of the room on pushing for this with all our work and our conviction. There's no going back now. For years, when Anthe has been working on the achievement of this treaty, we asked ourselves many times whether all this work and all these years of investment of, in this were worth it. But the, re the response has always been clear. However much time it took us, the treaty, when it, when it arrived, would be for all, for all time, would be forever. It's only a question of time until we get there. And although the time of our pu pupils at school and those who are looking for jobs today is important, very important, I, I think that we all have to s keep this vision of the Treaty of Marrakesh being there forever, for, for this and for all generations of young and older. This vision, this conviction that what we've con what we've achieved is not a solution that's vague or temporary but clear and definitive is what gives us this great satisfaction that we'd like to share with you today and all here at the first assembly of the uh, Treaty of Marrakesh. And we'd like to thank the first 20 countries for having made this assembly possible and thank all those who will come afterwards for having believed in the treaty and for believing in it. Independently of its position res in respect of the treaty, each delegation should be tremendously um, pr proud today to form part of such a special assembly that's so different and I urge everyone to make the best of this treaty and its mul multiple benefits because from the 30th of September this has been a turning point for everyone.